And I think I got one. to another video on Sapphire. Today we're gonna be going to check the mental traps. But I know I guys have not been uploading that long of videos right now, but it's because my life is really packed right now. Like weekend, I've been out all day. It's seven o'clock, about to get dark, and I can finally fin finish the video. Then tomorrow we're gonna be out all day, but tomorrow we'll be on a film. So it's like so hectic, because normally, how I video every other day, that other, well like the day in between every video, that's when I normally film the next video. So if I miss a day, then it backs me all up. So tomorrow I have to film a video for the next video. So it's like so hard and then my friends are home, so can't go to their house and film videos. So it's like, it's a, it's a repeat of what I have. So right now we're going to check the minute trap to get some more mollies for my pond because yes we will be getting two new brand new fish in not too long for that big pond. So yep, yeah, I'll see you guys when we're back there. I know it's hard to see on camera because you have like a purple line, but that sun is me that is getting late. So we're out here, we're checking the minute trap. Oh we got the basic dog food. So I'm hoping we catch something. Oh my god, look at all of these leaves. We caught minnows too. Let me get the bucket, get the bucket. Oh my gosh, guys. We never catch this many. And we caught a bunch of crawfish. So let me set up the camera. Okay, so I have to undo this clip and then they should all go in. Oh, there's a red ding going off and on. Yeah, it's the light. It's supposed to do that. Okay, that's pretty much all the minutes. And I don't want the crawfish that much, so. Yep. So now, since we have, we still have some more dog food in the trap. Yeah, come on. Matt, can you hold the camera? Hold the camera and look through it and film good. But you can kind of get off. Don't drop it. You can get off. Okay. So now, guys, we gotta clip it. Make sure they get everything that we're doing. Okay? Yeah. And me. Oh my god. I can't clip this. Okay, so, film it, make sure that's good. Don't make sure that it has everything, or actually make sure that it has everything. Okay, so you report sideways to the flow of the water. Look through the camera. Can you see me? Yes. Okay, so you're gonna put it sideways to the flow of the water. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our bucket, and we have this little guy. So basically what we're gonna do with this is, we're gonna get all that. Nasty dog food. Ew, cup cup. Okay, so now we're just gonna grab all that. We're gonna try to grab all this stuff without getting any crawfish, or we're just gonna throw it. Five minutes. Are you watching where I'm throwing it? So we're just gonna throw it back. It, we're gonna. It's basically chumming the water by our trap so that everything comes to the trout and then whenever they eat all the stuff for outside, they're gonna go inside. So, it's just wet dog food, not that good. Now let me show you, look, here's one of the crawfish. So, we really don't want the crawfish. You can't see it. We don't need them for anything, so we're, we're gonna just throw this guy back. I'm gonna throw him away from the trap so that he doesn't go back. And then I think they have a couple more. So we already have a bunch of crawfish in our pond. But, okay guys, so if you have a pond and you're just starting it, one of the best things to first put into your pond is crawfish, unless you're gonna be wanting to keep small fish. But if you wanna keep big bass and all, you don't, you don't, they eat food, but 
but they're not going to eat the extra. So guess what eats the extra? Film me right now because I'm talking. So guess what's going to eat the extra? Is those crawfish. Those crawfish love meat. So if you're feeding your fish tilapia or something, these guys are just going to come in. And they're going to be... Look, and then all you got to do is get little babies like that. They don't even pinch your fish, and they just eat the extra. What do you, that's good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now look, I'm gonna get a pretty molly for those of you guys who don't know. Let me keep getting this all this stuff out. But as I was saying, those are very good for ponds. They're kind of like plecos, just they eat the meat. Plecos won't necessarily always eat the meat. Look, all these baby crawfish that you find in your ditch, those are all really good things. Those are really good for a starting pond. My pond has tons of these little babies. And guess what? Whenever I feed my fish stuff, guess who eats the extra? Those. And then they don't even pinch your fish because they know you mean food just like the fish know. So if you keep your feeding your fish frequently, or my pond is a self, a self-sustainable pond. It has fish. It has everything that you need to. All I got, I could leave it. I could leave it for at least five months come back and all the fish would be still alive except I mean some of the minnows would have died and stuff but look at that watch look come get off and come see go see cameraman okay look at this very I can't leave it out of the water too long look at that look through the camera yeah. look at how pretty that that's a pregnant molly okay mm -hmm. look through the camera and you got to make sure that you're filming good Okay, let me try to get this pretty one. Look, here's a pretty one. Look at the colors on these. And these are wild. Oh, these are wild molly. Look through the camera, Maddox. Look at how pretty those are. And those are so pretty for your pond. They make babies. The babies are food for your bigger fish. It's so good. It's a perfect ecosystem for your ponds. So everybody needs to make sure that they have a self-sustainable ecosystem in case you leave for a week or two and go on vacation or for a little while. You have your pond and it will stay alive just like a fish tank. If you had a big fish tank and you would fill it with wild things and you'd put wild fish, they already are used to eating these fish. So they will already develop an ecosystem. I'm going to get plants, and then my pond will be a fully self-sustainable ecosystem. I can leave it for a while, and they'll still live. The fish will not pass away. Everything is still healthy, which that is great for your pond. So, I'm gonna, let's get into that whenever we get home. We are back at the house, and we got our bucket. So, let's go put them in the pond. <laughs> A lot of you guys have not seen the pond yet since I've put plants. I've added plants. I've added plants. These are actually all fake plants, but they have this one and those over there. Also, we have seeds right here. And as I said, you cannot see them, but maybe, can I find one? No, I think that there's crawfish in here, I promise you guys. The crawfish are in here. And we have the pumps running. Yes, the water is a little green, but I'm going to be getting a pleco that's going to help with that a lot. Buckets. So right now, just going to open the bucket. Well, we'll just take the top off. So we're going to grab our pretty one first. So actually, the, these two males might fight, and then they're going to make... Well, it's going to be okay, because they're just going to... Look at how pretty this guy looks in the water. But they're just, they're just going to make their own little places you guys can see that guy right there in the water i know this reflection is pretty bad on the camera but we're just gonna grab as many as we can there's probably a couple right yeah look all of these are pregnant that is gonna have some big issues. and i love these pregnant ones because they give us more food for my big fish in here look there's another pretty one. Oh, this one has less green today Come on, guy. Look. So we have these. So we're gonna throw them in. Let me grab the last couple. 
throw them in. Those are actually minnows pregnant. And the bigger the belly, obviously, the more pregnant they are. That's how it works in all species, pretty much. So that's just a normal minnow. And then I accidentally got a baby crawfish, but we'll just put him there because I don't want to go bring him back. And he's just a little guy. So as you guys said, they have crawfish in those rocks. That's a pile of rocks. So yeah. So I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have not already, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe to join the Peace Squad. Peace!